welcome to episode 20 of the Mob Jazz podcast. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, after 20, well, I'm going to fix this thing and I'm going to have reactions. Yeah, I'm going to have reactions. <laughs> I swear, today before I leave, that's what <laughs> we've been saying. It for like Honestly, 10 bro, after yeah, episode 20, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Yeah, he said they're making the sound effects nah, nah, manually. Nah, nah, guys, I remember I was watching back the episode where I told you guys I graduated. I was like, guys, I graduated. And I was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. It was dead. A dead reaction. <laughs> nah, but welcome back, guys. Thank you for sticking with us for these 20 episodes. Um, I think that over these 20 episodes, I've, identity, I've identified <laughs> like our Kaloyoka. I have like a loyal cast subgroup of yeah, guys who always, always listen. Mean, yeah, I have a loyal like group of guys. So obviously, man, we appreciate you all for watching, for listening, for um, yeah, man, for supporting. I guess you know it's 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 not easy. It's not easy, but we're back. Bro, How are you guys, guys feeling? Cheers to him, deep mm. so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How are you guys feeling, man? Not Wait. about it. Not about episode twenty. Just about life. Yeah, hey, life. Eh? Yeah. Jesse, how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling good right now. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling <laughs> good. I, I, that's saying something. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Not facts. everyone is feeling good. On God, man. You know, we give God thanks. Mm. Are you here? He's not tired today, why? Mm. What is it? It's open. No, but last time he came here, he had just come from getting it done. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean yeah, he's not tired? Like in a you usually have like, like a puff guy. I didn't have a puff last week. Are you sure? I think he was just looking tighter. And, and I know seen. he has been on his back. He has been uh, watching things. Yeah, he he organized this <laughs> 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 Did you finish the game? No, not yet. I haven't finished it yet. Hey. Um, I'm still playing that. You reduce your hours of playing. Yeah, a bit, man. I, I started getting some more orders. Mm. So, yeah, I started watching some TV. It's a bit, a bit. Um, I've, 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 I've been trying to watch uh, like shows and movies, but. A lot of them, I don't know, man. I don't know what happened to me of late. Like, I cannot sit through a movie. A movie. Mm. I get bored. I don't like my mind goes elsewhere. So it's even worse for series. But that said, that being said, this weekend I actually watched. Um, I started on Peaky Blinders. Mm. I watched the first which season, season of Peaky Blinders. Season one. Yeah. Ooh, which episode are you? you no, I'm on season two now. Ah, episode finished, episode yeah. two. Of, ep- of season one. Oh, season two. Two. How does season one end? Who season one ends when... Is that the Italian? You know that ends with a bombing. Is that the no, Italian? No, no, no. Uh, season two begins with a bombing. Bombing? What they bomb? They bomb the, the, the pub. The bar. The bar. Some season two. one ends when he kills some Italian guy. No, season one ends when... The, what's her name? The, the blonde-haired lady. Claire. I think. She called Claire. The, the Irish the, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, w- she when she's on the train tracks and some guy comes and tries to shoot her. But she was too sharp and she just shot him through her pass. Uh, that was uh, I had Peaky uh, Blender guys don't see. like spoilers. Who tried to shoot her? The, the, the investigator like guy. Yeah. TV. That guy tried to shoot her. Yeah. Uh, What's up with that guy? Doesn't he love her? That guy is crazy, bro. That guy just proposed to her literally. Yeah, but he wasn't that proposing episode, because he loved her. He was proposing just because I guess he wanted to like control her or something. That guy was a weirdo, bro. Okay, to be, <laughs> that's what he said. The way it wasn't for love, just to acknowledge that we're equal. He said some yeah, crazy kind yeah. like, I thought it was going to work. He thought it was going to work. It didn't work, bro. (laughs) But um, it's a good show. Um, I think I can now get the hype. Like I see why people yeah are so interested in fire. Nah, bro, it gets better. I can imagine. The beauty of that show is that it just keeps getting better. I can because this guy literally started out from okay, not the bottom, but like compared to where they started out, they're now like way better in season two. You bro, you have no idea. But you're only on season two. You have no idea how high that thing is going to go, bro. Bro, The whole time I'm watching the show, I feel like. I feel like such an Anglophile, bro. What does that mean? Like someone who is like loves the Brit, the, the Brits, like mm. or oh, like, like you, like, like you're rooting for them. Eh? Something like that. Like it just exposes that Anglophile side in me, bro. Because yeah. I really be like, it's not just the, it's not just like the 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 the, the, the acting. I like I like the stuff like how they are dressed. Yeah. I like how they sound. Yeah. I like the cities they are in. Yeah. Like, that's not just, is that like the colonialism? Yeah, bro, now? colonialism worked. No, <laughs> it <laughs> hard, bro. You guys are not, it was just, it was just for nothing. That shit worked, but bro. But the Cup, those guys are too fly to me. Yeah, too it's fly for a reason, man. It's like an, it's almost like, like an ingrained, yeah. like ideal. That's what like, just to. wear suits and like dominate. Uh-huh. 
in the that, yeah, those are like that's what like British yeah, like so I all do. these niggas in Thomas Shelby as their profile picture on Twitter. Yeah, it's the profile. It, it just represents like an ideal, bro. Nah, they they, they they love the queen. I'm telling you, bro. Uh, but man, nah, Picky Blinders is too fire. Nah, yeah, Picky Blinders is yeah. It's a sick show. Then I also started on um Atlanta, season three. I'm on the first three episodes. I've watched the first three episodes. Um, it's fire. Now that one is fire. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Would recommend two thousand yes. way up. Yes. Get in. Mm-hmm. I don't even know why it took so long to watch that one. I don't know what I was waiting. I can't wait to finish it so I can ask you if you think it's the best season. So far, I don't want to bias you. So far, it's it's the best season in terms of it has the most cinematic episodes like everything just looks very very the budget good, is man. bigger definitely. the budget is bigger because they're going to more places yeah like everything's bigger it, it's like it's in that aspect i think it's the best like everyone everything just looks really really Dope. good man yeah. and i think it's because the that that director i think is called hero morai yeah yeah that guy he did a few episodes in season two uh, but a every few? Time, a few yeah he didn't do the whole season really yeah it was a few because in season two to and season one it would alternate uh, directing between childish gambino that guy and I think Ch- no, Childish Gambino's brother would write some episodes. It but in this one, it seems like he's lot. doing all of them. Okay, Hero so Morai, far he's done yeah, all yeah, of them. Yeah, he directs all of them, but Donald Glover executive producers. Also yeah, and the brother writes, Steven. Yeah. So in the first two seasons, the the episodes of that Hero Murai guy were always my best. Mm. Like those ones just looked. Mm, that guy has a certain it? eye for yeah, composition and for angles. Bro, bro, it just bro, looks, it looks good, bro. And. This season is just that to the max, bro. So I've been enjoying it so far. Um, yeah. What else did I try to start to watch? I tried to watch Boba Fett, the book of trash, bro. Like, uh, okay, I think I'm now like I'm done trying to force myself to like Star Wars, bro. Like, I think my favorite thing about TV shows is very rarely does stuff that I don't like like ever come in front of me, like appear like in my in how, my. How do you control it? I don't know how. Because most, most of the shows I watch, I watch off recommendation. recommendation. So I can only listen to a few people. Like, oh, there's only a few guys who I trust to tell me something that might be dope. So now, something like that, I would have never, this is the first time I'm hearing. I, mean, I, I, I struggle with guys' recommendation because guys have bog taste, bro. Guys have yeah, bog taste. Like some people that like, I don't even know what movie to say, but like that bog movie that you're thinking, go mm. someone likes mm. it. But and yeah, so I, I like Spider Man. Oh no, I like Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the guy. That's the movie yeah. I'm thinking of. I'm the guy who likes it. So, uh, I'm three. Uh, so yeah, man, I think that's my issue with like um, what was I talking about? With Star Wars. Star Wars, bro. Yeah. Now my issue now, I feel like I'm watching Power Rangers. You guy, like they're still in puppets, mm. and it's just like I guess it's like a more accepted Power Rangers that like, the guys grew up with it and it didn't become childish. But that's only what I feel like I'm watching at this point. So I don't know. I'm not I'm not jiving with Boba Fett. I fell asleep in the first episode. I don't think I'm going to go back. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever go there. Yes. Yo, on my end, man, I started watching P Valley. Have you guys heard of it? Yeah, I have. P Valley. That's the one where I came here, right? Yeah, I saw her bro, talking about it today. It's it. so good. Oh my god, bro. It is where are you watching so it from? good. Show Max, man. I also downloaded Show Max. And Bro, Show Max, it doesn't have everything on it. I thought it had like all the HBO and all the stars shows. It doesn't, but it has a lot eh, to the point where, like, you know, when you search Netflix and you find something that you didn't expect to be on there, that's the feeling I'm getting from Show Max right now. So I was so glad to find it on there, man. What kind of content do they have? Like, um, what shows? All I kinds know, of I know shows. It's heavily bro. African. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's owned by Multi Choice, so they have. All the multi choice shows, all those yeah. over uh, Africa Magic. Yeah, they have all those shows. They have Sanyu, bro. First of all, I found out last week that Sanyu has like 250 episodes. You yeah, get Let me tell you. <laughs> Everyone talks about Sanyu. <laughs> two seasons. Me know, all two seasons. Like anime, bro. 250 <laughs> episodes, bro. <laughs> Sanyu must be a fire show. Yeah, you Chilling have you have a chance. Download show must 11,000 shillings a month. That's free promo, but we'll see. <laughs> guys uh, it so yeah. aggressively. <laughs> That's free promo. <laughs> but yeah, bro, the point is, man, I started watching P-Valley. I'm enjoying it immensely. I started watching it yesterday, bro, but I'm already so deep in it. Yeah, I saw you today. I'm about so it. deep like, in it, bro. This, I'm almost yeah. done with the season that I'm watching, and then I'll watch the next season. It's only eight, eight episodes in the first season. season. Mm-hmm. So it's the second season, I think, is like halfway through. Uh, what else have I been watching? I started watching Kuroku's Basketball. Uh, how is it? <laughs> <laughs> how is you it? told me it has one season. It has It has three. to, bro. Because, uh, really? There are like three seasons, yeah. 
Because this thing is just running through that generation of miracles, bro. He's yeah. just obeying all of them, bro. I'm so proud. I wish for someone to beat him. You know, because I'm used to like that. Has they liking it? Did the Kenyan <laughs> guy? Yo, did the Kenyan guy ever lose? The Kenyan guy. Kengan. Did he ever lose a fight? I don't think he ever lost a fight. Kengan. Ken- I Kengan. actually don't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember him losing a fight either. And I don't know why I just expected these guys to at least lose. There can be other basketball like show. Nah, you lose nah. something. These guys don't lose, bro. Okay, yes, they yes, don't bad. lose. Mina, on that, do you know they're making a One Punch Man movie? So Live action. Sony. So lit. Live action. Yeah, it's a Sony thing. You're worried. I worry feel there. about that. I also one Punch Man, I, I think, is it. One Punch Man might be safe because it's like one of the lesser known animes. I think. Relax. Is it? It's, it's like popular. the most popular, popular anime. White, like, popular. Is it? Yeah, there's people that only know One Punch Man. That's crazy. Yeah, the there is that's why I think it won't be as bad as other live action things is because for it, it's heavily comedy, bro. And you know, I think about that one is punch the only thing that, you know, I think, I don't it, know, man. No, let me tell you something. Nah. Now for all those things that they're doing, whenever they're, they're, they're making a live action, I'm just going to expect the worst. It's such a going and you're like, you yeah. can't disappoint yeah. me. <laughs> uh, if it's trash, I'll be like, that's what I expected. What, what then is the is one dope? live action movie you've enjoyed? Enjoyed. Any. Any. Like a remake that I've enjoyed. I'll I'll think about it. The show goes there. The only one I have is not an anime uh, live action adaptation. It's like a video game. Like the Witcher. I enjoyed The Witcher. The Witcher was a game first. Yeah, yeah the, Witcher the, the Witcher is The Witcher is all right. The Witcher is all right. The Witcher is fine. I can't count. They can count. Uh, I can't count. Animation. It counts as a game. It if, counts. If you're including games, then yeah, it, ca- it counts. Yeah. It counts. I can't know spectacular. And my problem is when they do anime, bro. Did you guys ever hear of Cowboy Bebop? Yep. Did you see that movie? Trash. Oh my God. Nah, bro. Like, I don't even know what they were going for. Terrible. Don't even go for the last airbender. Oh, that was bad. But Trash. why were they all Indian? I have nothing against India. Yeah, that like was a very uh, wild well, what, what interpretation is that? There's bro. nothing in the anime <laughs> I suggested. <laughs> what were they There's only? nothing in the anime I suggested that these were Indian. Bro, I but I, I believe ne- Netflix is making another, right? Yeah, they're doing it. But then they're doing a series. Then they're doing a series. Let them. Because they're the ones who have done the good ones, right? They did The Witcher. They did okay. Nah, the ones who did Netflix Cowboy origin. Bebop. The ones who did Bleach. <laughs> the ones who did, uh, uh, what's this other one that I'm thinking of? Full Metal Alchemist. The, uh, yeah. bro, they should just, they, and the thing is, they only go for the good ones, which have a lot of fans and yeah. people hold dearly in their hearts, yeah, near and dear to their hearts. They destroy them. The ones who did Death Note. The ones who did Death Note. Yeah, bro. they destroy them. And the funny thing, they, these Netflix guys, they do that show and they don't even put the origin. I, I complained about this in the last episode, but. Mm. They need to stop making live action remakes, bro. Let yeah. them do like a remaster of the old anime, like they bring it back in HD mm-hmm. with like maybe some new voiceover. I believe that's what they did for Avatar, right? The last uh, Airbender? Mm. No, it, it, it was still in this guy's square and they, uh, That last Airbender, that kid was too serious to be ang. He was too serious. That guy was always <laughs> he intense. was sober, bro. Yeah, I think he was always too tense. <laughs> <laughs> that was an ang, man. It was more Stranger Things vibes, bro. That that movie, <laughs> first of all, even the way they bend did not make any sense. Yeah. This is a, the fair benders had to have like a fire source, bro. Did, have you guys seen how well the Matrix has aged? Has aged? The fourth one, the, no, the first one, the first okay, definitely. No. The fourth okay. one, though, the, I don't know about that one, man. but the first, the first Matrix is a masterpiece, it, but it has aged so well, bro. That's a classic, anyway. Like, that that's besides the point. I'll focus on Kuroku. Uh-huh. That nigga is a weirdo, <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, I wa- I don't know what I expected. But his character is nothing like I expected, bro. He's just like a, like a he calls himself a, a shadow. Phantom sixth man. That guy is in the, <laughs> <laughs> he's in the background, bro. <laughs> Literally, the first time I saw what his actual skill was, I first died. I was like, guys, what's this? <laughs> but I found myself watching all the episodes, man. I'm not yet done, but... Uh, but it's a fire. Yeah, anime. so far he hasn't lost to any generation of miracles. Nah, no, that, that anime is... is you a watch it dubbed anime, or subbed? Bro. I watched it dubbed. No, subbed. I watched it subbed. Yeah, I just know it's better subbed. I'm I watched watching it, it dubbed. I just know it's better subbed. I don't know what this one I, I don't have gas. Nah, but that, that's, that's one of like the top, it's one of my top like 10 anime that one. But maybe one of our worst dubs. Basketball. Maybe one of our worst dubs. Did you watch? Because. Uh, top 10 anime ever. Yeah. For me, personal, hmm. it's a personal list. Kuroko's yeah, basketball is up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to clarify. Just want to make sure yeah. you I'm giving you the clarity. Ah, yeah, yeah, so so you'll you'll do the that. anime community on your own. It's me. Yeah. Nah, listen. Um, you know when you, you know when you, because now me I watch, I watch it both ways. So if I'm watching a dub, the sub will still be on. 
Bro, these guys be saying completely <laughs> different. <laughs> <laughs> Never do that to yourself. That dub is seeing something else, bro. That sub has changed the meaning completely. Nah, the only dubs I trust are Netflix dubs. This one's on Netflix. I watch you on Netflix. But it's not a Netflix dub. Oh. That makes sense. Like it's, it's, a, it's not an original Netflix. It's not an original show. Netflix okay. show. But like if it's an original Netflix anime, those ones usually go through like the time to get like a good voice actor every time and mm. they have a certain standard they go yeah. for. But some of these other guys that dub, I think they just like outsource to some company. Mm. I don't know because the, the quality varies so much between anime to anime. But Netflix is usually like a constant. You can watch a, a Netflix dub. Is uh, One Punch Man originally in another language? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's it is. Japanese. <laughs> that choice so But speaking hard. of anime, <laughs> you know what annoys me? Eh? People who say they can't watch dub at all. Even if it's good. Yeah, those are anime purists. It's very weird. Yeah, Remember what like, you went for? Bro, purists. There's, there's no problem with you accepting that this dub is actually good. Kawa, no one yeah. will beat you. Bro, Demon Slayer dub is so fire. Ah, I remember so sometimes I tweeted about how I watched Demon Slayer in dub. You guys wanted to fight you. guys came for me. I was just like, boss, these are my ears. I told you about, <laughs> this. I told about, uh, about Denise's birthday party, man. Guys wanted to fight her. <laughs> because he was so <laughs> were drinking. I was telling that it guy was loud. Guys were just, that guy insisted. Watch that thing in, in what's it, Japanese? Sub, yeah. What are you guys watching? Demon, Demon Slayer. Yeah. The movie. The, the movie. movie. The sub isn't bad. I won't lie. I mean, yeah, but because it's not bad. Yet, bro. Dub is bro. also good, bro. You know, what a party. How are we going to read those? The thing about a dub, you have, rather sub, you have to, to pay read, attention. Like, yeah. your eyes must be at the bottom of the screen. You look away for a few seconds, you're lost. Anyway, me, if you know me, purists, don't come for me because <laughs> next time I'll just abuse you. Man, <laughs> me, I, I used to be one of those purists, man. I can't even, uh-huh. like, knock them. Like, back in the day when I just started anime, I was, I was one of those, like, man, give me only sub, give me... But eventually I realized, man, if the dub is good, and so you're watching the thing in dub. Bro, have you ever tried watching an anime in sub guy you're eating? Bro, that's what but I'm you saying. you prick your lips for <laughs> nothing. You're eating. <laughs> hey, you can, you, I, I promise you can pour the food down your shirt, bro. Like, you can miss your mouth because uh, you're trying to look at the subs, bro. Uh, like, bro, let me tell you, I also used to be a purist. Man, it's, there's no harm if the dub is good. No, you know one of my favorite no things about anime? A lot of animes I've noticed, especially the ones that I like, which are mostly like fighting animes. Mm. One guy talks at a time. Hey. Kuroko's basketball is different because, like, yeah. there's there's more dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who's saying one thing, and that guy says one thing, and but most of those fighting things, one guy will pass just his whole, oh, whole episode. Hey, <laughs> mi- mid mid punch, <laughs> that guy will stop and fast jazz. What's his... about to happen? You get you know, story, bro. Yeah. There's no yeah. anime that does that better than Samurai X. Eh, bro, Jazzy. They will explain the move to <laughs> you. <laughs> By the time the move lands, <laughs> even you have understood it. It makes so much sense. Okay, God, natural is one of my favorite shows. Because most of the time you don't even finish the move. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I can't sure explain even to you what happened. <laughs> and let's move on to the next fight. <laughs> like, it's done. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I bro. remember when I was watching, you know, that episode of Bucky where he's fighting. Like smoke or a shadow of where yeah, he's from myself, yeah, where yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. And I watched it and I was like, these guys have married These guys here, can't but say. I'm loud. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Those laughs> Bucky, I'll never forget that guy in Bucky who'd fight with his fists. His he'd slap your mouth. Yeah. That guy slap your face in a, with his <laughs> with his hand like this. <laughs> the poison guy. The poison fist. Then over you run out of air. Over my mouth. Yeah. You create a vacuum. Those, there's a vacuum in your face. Yeah, those, <laughs> those guys are so dumb. Bro. Remember, like a guy who wrote that. Uh, he went to school, bro. Like uh, was that the guy who uh, studied uh, his hands in poison forever? Oh, oh that's yeah, a different yeah, guy. Yeah, that's a oh, well, it's a technique he learned. <laughs> that guy <laughs> would <laughs> clap your body yeah. like it goes with meat. Yeah. <laughs> you you begin over melting. Yeah. Everywhere uh, he slaps. Okay, okay, man. Uh, uh, shout out anime. Anime, anime. You get. I feel like we talk about anime every episode. It's <laughs> lit. <laughs> what should we start with, you guys? Should we start with a serious topic? Or Midland, uh, bro. We need to start with Midland. Uh, is, was it Midland or Maryland? Maryland. Mid- Midland. Midland. Yeah. Yeah. Midland bus. Midland school. Yeah. Well, it was a Midland school. It was Midland bus. It was yeah, a Midland but bus. It was a different school uh, in the bus. The Midland kiddos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, explain. Explain to our listeners. So, man. Louis, guys. Ah, from the that jump, a uh, video surfaced on the internet. Hey, <laughs> and <yes. laughs> now you take it from yeah. there. No, <laughs> listen. So earlier this week, a video. I don't know. Was it this week or this weekend? I, I think, think it was, was probably this, this week. weekend. Yeah. Um, this video appeared on the internet, and it's basically a school bus, a really big school bus in traffic. I guess like at a light, 
and this person kind of zooms into the to the window of the bus eh? and it's what appears to be female students sitting on what appears to be male students and let's just say they are gyrating <laughs> <laughs> eh? We don't know what was happening, <laughs> but just know it looked like gyration. <laughs> there was gyration happening on that bus. And it was vigorous, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> and on this bus, eh, on the side of a bus, is in the biggest words you can imagine. Maryland, the Midland, Midland, okay, Mi- Midland, Midland High School. <laughs> With like, what was that? What was that thing of Midland High School? The motto? No, knowledge is knowledge. <laughs> something, something inspirational, bro, like that. Education is the key. Like that. <laughs> That's my school. Relax. So obviously, bro. <laughs> my bad. Obviously, <laughs> it was like obviously. the joke was a bit too close to it. It's a bit too close. <laughs> obviously, it made rounds. Guys were dying. Da, da, da. So as expected, it got to the the Midland admin, and they didn't say anything, did they? No. Instead, but they, they hit up. The yeah, guys. they hit up the guys who are actually using the bus, which turned out to be Lubidi High School. Mm-hmm. These Lubidi High School guys put out a, a, a statement. A sta- I can read it. <laughs> Baba team. <laughs> <laughs> eh? uh-uh. So this is an official statement from Lubidi High School. R E. Start with yeah. R E. <laughs> Re. <laughs> <laughs> the twelfth of June, twenty twenty two. Said there is a video circulating on social media involving alleged misconduct of students on Midland High School bus. As Luwidi High School, however, we apologize to Midland High School, where we hired the school bus and to the public at large for the alleged misconduct. The students on board belong to our school. They had gone for an agricultural show to Jinja. <laughs> As Luwidi High School, we take a stand on the actions taken in the video to be just a mere dance of which <laughs> is part of the school's <laughs> co-curriculum activities. <laughs> Investigations are underway in regard to the matter. <laughs> bro, let me take management. Let me take First of all, bro, I love this statement. <laughs> because rarely do you see admin just writing for the kiddos, just being on the kiddos and like, hey, relax, it was just a mere dance. <laughs> co-curriculum activities. Please, please, kids kids dance. dance. Yeah, <laughs> kids, that's just, that's me. Oh no, the co curriculars. No one was really hurt. Squeezed All the kids came back to school. <laughs> Everyone was kawa. <laughs> yeah, this statement was made for the kids. I that's love that, true. bro. I love <laughs> that. <laughs> it was killing me. They'd go on an agricultural <laughs> trip. <laughs> 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 that's the funniest thing. Eh? Because just think about it. These guys came from Ginger in Rubs. <laughs> we, do, we do not know where this video was taken from. <laughs> Those guys were in Rubs for approximately two hours and 30 minutes. <laughs> so they Until the returns on his the uh, Bro. <laughs> ah. Now nah, I'll be shook if they if they were. Were there no teachers in the bus? No, were they? But the kids were like at the back of you didn't want, you yeah, didn't see that video. Yeah, yeah, see. Oh my video. god, bro, bro, we didn't show you that I video. I mean, this was the first Context time. is key. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have the video. But I'm sure if we checked, we can find it. Because Jerry T. Vigorously. Now there were rubs, bro. This guy's about to make his reaction. There were rubs. It wasn't <laughs> slow. It wasn't slow wines. It wasn't. These were rubs, bro. But listen, man. Shout out to Vidi. Because that's, that's, that's a real nigga statement to put out, man. This is agriculture camp. You're like, hey, I've just seen school. it, you guys. Let me, let me ah, show me that. that. <laughs> show me that. But you have now showed Jesse the first one also. <laughs> ah, this is uh, it's cow. It's, uh, it's light. Light rubs. <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah. Take it easy. Staring the pot. At you guys. What is this guy? Look at this. He said, guys, no, my podcast. Um, that's inside the bus. Eh? Mm. Let's put it here. We see. This guy told the only one who bought this phone case. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, these kids are young. Are bold, oh my bro. god, bro. These are real you, this secondary school students. Yeah, I rubbed a bowl chick. Not, yeah. not, not, not of late, bro. <laughs> Let's rub our rubbing ahead. <laughs> <laughs> For good luck. <laughs> these are real. I'm even trying nah. to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> it's too crazy. nothing cute. I'm just seeing oh, all the video. skin hair. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, uh, bro, I don't know how we'll do this for the guys on YouTube so we can so they can like see that video. Because right now they're just hearing us jazzing about a video. I don't talk about nah, it. You guys watching the video. All I'm seeing, the I'm seeing the video. bodies moving. You, yeah. you can see wriggling. Roundward motion. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> Waist circulating, bro. Starry. <laughs> <Just starry. laughs> uh, yeah, bro. No. Uh, My favorite thing about all of this was that statement, bro. Uh, uh, it was too fun. Agriculture uh, club of Lubiri, bro. Yeah. Bro, a wild thing. Hey. He's probably a president of the club. Went home and the mom was like, but aren't you the president of the club? <laughs> what <laughs> are you doing? Okay, she should ask questions to answer, bro. Hey. What can this happen on his watch? Nah, bro. Speaking but of uh, speaking of ginger. I saw his story in the uh, newspapers, okay, on the internet. But apparently, some guys uh, r- robbed. Let me tell the whole story. Just know that these robbers were car, but they in were car blasting the dimes they had just robbed. <laughs> 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 they oh. robbed it, but they kept them like an hour after they had robbed. Blasting the dimes they had just robbed. <laughs> What's this in Ginger? In Ginger. <laughs> what did they rob the bank? So that story is. This guy, um, I think he's like the financial officer of this company called, let's see, Victoria Now Plastics. I guess a touchy big ass company. Mm. So he went to the bank, the bank of Baroda, and withdrew money. He didn't say how much money he withdrew. But he withdrew money, entered the car. He had come with one other guy and started driving back to the factory where, d- where he works, right? So apparently the robbers followed him from the bank. Yeah. Followed him for a while, and then they cut him off on the Njeru Kayunga Highway. Okay. So they robbed him on the. I'll have you know. What time do you think it was when they robbed him? Let's the night. Take broad daylight. It has to be broad daylight. Wait, broad daylight for you. A night time for you. Broad daylight, bro. Bro, one p.m. in the afternoon. Hey. When the sun is at its highest. That when you're plotting <laughs> lunch. <laughs> These guys <laughs> robbed him. <laughs> hey. They stopped. Obviously, they stopped the car. They had weapons. Probably they had a they had a machine gun, like an AK, a hammer. <laughs> you know, guys, we have <laughs> random things. After having a gun, guys just now get anything else. <laughs> After uh, getting the gun, the guys now just pick whatever whatever is around hammer, them. Pick it. <laughs> so guys had random things like that. Hammer, what? F- funny, funny people. Like yeah. But so they stop the guys, relieve them of their funds, enter a car, boom. But I think they hadn't accounted for. Uh, is that this thing, this bag had a tracker. So as soon as they take this guy's money, they call the police. I don't know why they didn't take the guy's phones. But as soon as they they take that, I, I think because they saw how much money was in the bag, they were they like, nah, forget this guy's phones. <laughs> so they call the police and the police immediately starts tracking that bag. Bro, at like 4 p.m., they find these guys. <laughs> <laughs> You find these guys at a guest house <laughs> getting done. <laughs> the guys, the guys are, in fact, the article said they found them at Rainbow International Guest House <laughs> feasting on beers. <laughs> the guys are getting tanned, bro. Guys are blasting. Yeah, Bambi, they put them in. Bro, those guys were of millionaires course. for like yeah. three hours. They put them in, bro. But I mean, that, the weird bit is that the gun that they had was a, it was a UPDF gun. Like it was registered. It had UPDF serial numbers. Which is kind of weird because none of them are soldiers. But Probably yeah, man. Boy was a soldier or something. The guys are inside. But apparently, that's like a thing that has been happening, man. Like a crime rate in Ginger is crazy right now, bro. bro. I think the crime rate in general is crazy right now. I've been hearing a lot of stories of people getting robbed, especially cars. Yeah. I've had like in the last month, two people I know have had their cars stolen from like their parkings at home. At like home? Par- at home, bro. The first person was robbed. They actually saw the thugs enter the car. Trying to start the thing, push it, but they're like four thugs. So the guy watched the whole time, but he couldn't do anything. Yeah, you One can day. go there and they clap you. That yeah, it can be your last day, bro. Yeah. Like that can be your last act. Let me go and fight for my car, and they not kill you, bro. It. It's not worth it. So I know two people now that they've stolen cars from. I know another lady that was robbed from the house. Mm-hmm. It's like the crime rate is going through the roof, bro. And like this lady, for was the most crazy. Like then they opened, like she was at home, sleeping. Then they. So you know how like these metal doors that you had like can have at the home that have like a small hole where like 
you can pass your hand to open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, I know those boobs. I know those boobs. I know those boobs. Yeah, so <laughs> that kind of usually has like a capad look, that capad look on that kind of thing yeah. that you can open it and yeah. close it and put yeah, a padlock. Yeah. So now they have a way of kind well, even if you have a padlock on that thing, you can still kind of push it yeah. a bit. Yeah. So they pass a like a mulao, a, a mingling stick through that car hole and kind of use it to open the the, the, handle. the handle inside. What? Bro. So that's how she was robbed. She said she doesn't know this person came in. She just fell asleep and woke up emptied, bro. They had cleared everything. The clothes. The, like she's the only thing that they didn't take was the bed she was sleeping on. Yeah, in, in high school, we used to call that butterflying. Yeah, but where the girls just that's you see it, see it. Yeah, that's edge it <laughs> and then put something there and then take whatever they want and put it back down. Bro. You guys used to put the thing back down. Some of them, yeah. Bro, if that, like if that thing, <laughs> if if that thing <laughs> yeah, if that, if they haven't broken a suitcase, because you know, like, yeah, let's talk, the guys just want to show you that now we've robbed you. The guys would, these other guys would just put it up a bit, like put like a shoe or something, and butterfly take the stuff and then let it sleep. You nah, can't think your nah. thing is your thing is the same. Cool, nah, for us in high school, bro, they butterfly the kiss. And butterfly to the real mice. butterfly. <laughs> so that <laughs> you have to suicide yours. <laughs> you are exactly, bro. So that you can, the moment you've just entered the dome, you can see, oh see my god, <laughs> they are butterflying me. You don't even have to reach there. <laughs> bro, at, no, as in our school, we had a chain of those butterfly uh, guys. They would steal all your jazz and leave for you 1K. 1K. At least they leave for you 1K, bro. As in, they try to prove that. I have here. no idea, but it was like a. <laughs> That's so malicious. Like a mafia, you That's so malicious. They live like a, like a 1K in that car, origami dove. In a butterfly. They live here, butterfly, origami a butterfly 1K. <laughs> <laughs> on your case. <laughs> for, yeah. for your troubles. Uh, uh, by the way, bro, speaking of ginger, you guys, on a positive note, I was speaking to one of my boys who lives in ginger. And we're talking about Nyege, what he runs a hotel in ginger. And we were talking about Nyege, and I was telling him, hey, man, these guys kind of mess with your business. And he told me, yeah, but, but the venue that they've picked for Nyege this time. The falls, is it? Yeah, that place. Mm. Apparently, bro, it's like three times the size of the old venue. Okay. So but that's is it something safe? What am I saying when people complain about its safety? I don't know. I guess because it's Farther way, way out of town. Mm. And obviously, if it's bigger, that means it's more like, it's more porous. So more guys will get in yeah. that aren't invited or aren't allowed in. But he told me, bro, it's huge. So you shouldn't worry about oh, why it will be crowded or why it will be this, it will be that. Nah. But that wasn't my worry. My worry is just that it's too it's far, far from the city. Bro, he told me it's like 25 to 30 kilometers. I thought you were going 10 minutes, now. bro. Man, even me, that's what I thought he was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, when he said 25 to 30 <laughs> kilometers, <laughs> I said kilometers. <laughs> and it's on a dusty road, bro. Yeah, you know 25 what kilometers on a dusty road? Bro, that's like, like that's Kampala to Mukono, bro. Thirty something. Bro, yeah, he said they're focusing. Well, actually, they're 17. focusing on a Kampala. Yeah, Kampala to Mukono is seventeen. Steel, bro. Fact-check. Steel. Can you guys be convinced to camp there? <laughs> you can. I know you. You're a freaky nigga. You can be convinced. But even still, you'd have to convince me. Uh, you'd have to take some convincing. Bro, I saw a guy who stayed in a tent last time, bro. He ain't it, bro. Man, he didn't like, look like, like he, That's real hassle bro, now. I've come in a tent before that day, trains. But even in the morning, during bro, the when the sun comes out. In the, you can't sleep you in that day. You can't take a day, nap, bro. Uh-uh. No. Be at night, it's too life. cold now. Your shit isn't safe. Like... <laughs> I'm good, bro. Imagine if it's Honestly. 25 kilometers away from the town, bro. Where are you, you going to That's stay? what they're aiming for, bro. They just want guys to go there and, and stay camp. there and then leave when it's time to leave. But they can't be. Why are they choosing for us, man? But then I guess it's, that's their prerogative as the organizers. Bro, far, it be, far be it from me, man. I'll go there on one day from morning until the next morning and then I'll leave, bro. I can't, I can't camp you, guys. For days. Leave. No way. Let me have just in capable of camping. Maybe I'll go there and just like chill in ginger after. Maybe they have better accommodation other than the tents. I know they have, at least at the other one, they have like small rooms about. But how many? Bro, this bro. place is just a few. Anyway, I don't know what they're doing there. They might be doing something there now, but bro, that, that festival have like 25,000. Okay, not 25,000, but at least 10K guys. I don't think that they can build and enough after accommodation COVID, for 10K guys. Uh, hi, I don't think it will be only 10K. And 10K tents, bro. That's too much. That's, well, that's a mob. T- that's like a, a barracks. Dance, bro. 
Yeah. 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 It's not working. It's oh, not, bro. It's, really it's not. not. Working, so that's we have to be a one day. Man. You're sharing bro. a bathroom with 10k people. Imagine if you're already sharing with 100 people. someone from Talent Africa to speak to us, bro. I'll, I'm gonna aim for that. Yeah. So just see forward. like what up with the with the event, bro. For them to explain to us like what the vibe, what vibe are they going for? <laughs> <laughs> What's your vibe, bro? <laughs> What's their plan <laughs> for accommodating all of us? Honestly, dude, I'm not trying to do that. Have you guys seen how many more concerts are going to be here? Mom, <laughs> mom. <laughs> okay. First of all, Prior to is it July? It's July, right? Starting June, bro. Starting next week. From What's next week onwards. Next week now. Next week is my career, right? Mm. My career is now. My career is like 24th June. Yes, yeah, I that's, agree for that's that week. I'm waiting for that one. That's a I'm going for that one, yeah. All I know is, bro, let me see. Who, who, who did it? I wrote down the names. There's Mike Kaihura. Mike. There's Ira Star. There's Costa Teach and Ade Kunle. Yeah. There is. But it's in this order Mike. Uh-huh. Then AJ Costa. Uh-huh. Then Tiwa. And yeah, then there's Tiwa. also Tiwa. Then Azawi. Azawi. <laughs> then Aria. Uh, I, but why do you guys forget Kiss Daniel? Hey, What's that? When is he coming? When is he coming? Guess that he was supposed to come in over August or some just. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's still <laughs> fine. <laughs> 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 I only believe when a guy makes a video. Is that you? That's okay, come yeah, <laughs> on the way, man. I'm That's the only way. That's the only way I believe, bro. Did you see Cranium tweet? I saw that he's going to be here for a while. Who's bringing To chill. That? Yeah. I don't As he waits for other songs to clear. Yeah, you must drop a video also. Yeah, then we also want to see him at the airport, boss. We have to see him at the airport. I used to know a girl who loved Cranium, bro. She loved him, you guy. Eh? It is closer to like him as a eh, person. bro, his music. Eh, that's what I'll say, bro. So she loved him, man. Who, who are we talking Anyways, about? Some chick. Yeah, but we, the point is, man, wh- what are we going for? Of the shows? Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I just want like Ira and Ira Ira and, uh, and AG, man. Okay. Ira, that's the one I want. AG. AG is lit, but No, Ira. Ira. he's going for Azawi. When is it? Again, who is going for Azawi? Look at the hypocrite. Okay, me, my thing is I've seen Azawi like I've three Azawi times, bro, times, in the last three bro, months, bro. So I've bad. really gone for Azawi. So oh, I don't know if I can go for a whole Azawi just concert. Okay, that doesn't sound like a fan, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, but that's not like a f- so weak, bro. I, mean, I, I don't want to say that out loud. Eh? Would you go for Tiwa? Badly. Really? I actually would. I would definitely go, bro. And I've been seeing her, because you know she's on tour. I've been seeing guys, like what guys are saying about her concert. She's fucking amazing. I bro. would definitely go for Tiwa. I'll definitely go. I'll definitely. No, Bria, me, I'm actually sure Tiwa definitely. won't go for. Because I'm going really for definitely Mike. Zaira. I'm going for Mike as a mass. In fact, I'm going to buy a ticket today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going for AG. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, listen. AG, AG is one of my favorite artists, period, you guys. That guy, is, he's, he's such a blast. But uh, we might not be here. We might not be here. But then if we're here, I'll go. I'll go for Tiwa. I'm not going for Azawi. I just saw at Budo League like three weeks ago. Bro. <laughs> and I'm going for Ira I- I- as a must. Which one is a must? This must. kind of sucks, bro, because that's what I think I'd like to talk to Azawi, but. Azawi's so <laughs> fire, man. It's so fire, but, but I've seen her like concert. 10 times. Yeah, I've, I've seen her so her many times this year, bro. I've seen her a lot. She wants to do a cricket over. That's man, big. That's huge. But I think she'll do it. I think she'll do it. She'll definitely, no, she'll do definitely it. do it. Azawi has potential. And she has a sell fan that base, bro. Guys yeah. But I just don't know if. Uh, I don't, it might be too soon. I don't want to book right now. Yeah, she. The thing is, uh, she's done a lot of performances, bro. Mm. But like, you think, you don't know if that's going to help people want to come and see you again, or it's going to make people feel like I already saw you. I feel like guys would go if her concert wasn't in the middle of all these concerts, bro. Uh, if it was alone in the of it, I would definitely bro, it's go. It's dead in the middle. It's literally the week of another concert. It's like on the twenty second, and then there's one on the twenty fourth. But why there are so many? But let me tell you something. In this one month, I keep saying this. I've been saying this, bro, for years. Why can't events organizers in UG just do a agree, one bro? guy? No. Why can't they agree on dates, bro? Why do they keep trying to compete? They, they know the market is small. Why are they trying to cut each other out? Everyone loses, bro. Now see, in literally the last week of June, bro, between the twenty second and the twenty seventh, like five concerts. What's but first, chill. I think you and I <laughs> will talk about this sometime. Yeah. If guys just get a show, eh, 
and headline it with like five. I just bring like a festival, <laughs> just bring <laughs> a bunch of artists. <laughs> then the price that can go up of tickets. Yeah, but the money won't be enough. The, the market is not That is the enough. only problem. Why not? How much are you willing to pay for that? If it's a show, for example, that has like three or four like really sick artists, like say, and we are just bla- the only like problem say, is also like say if you had stop at midnight, you guy. If you had mm. Tiwa, Ira, Adekunle, and Costa Teach on that one show, bro, I'd even pay like three hundred k, bro. Would okay. you for four guys? Would you pay three hundred k? Oh, how many other guys think would pay three hundred? Okay, that's the thing. That's but the me, but me, I can. If I'm seeing like four guys, I will go for the whole day. You see, like an artist in the morning, an artist. Yeah, what's bro, I'll pay the whole. Bro, come mm, on. Mm, mm, mm. That's People a pay. madness. You get. I'd go. I'd go, bro. But now spreading out that three hundred thousand over a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. And three that different is just shows. like a hundred. I don't think guys have enough money right now, bro. I don't think guys have enough. Money. To pay three hundred. Yeah. yeah. Bro, but those VIP not enough people. Would, not enough people would pay three hundred k. Those VIP tables be full. And how many VIP tables? Well, someone there? told me how many are paying. The VIP is invite. Like you just don't buy. Is that it, true? Not all of them. Some of them, because uh, they be buying bottles, so you have to kind of gauge. Minimum. What, what do you day? prefer? Do you prefer mm-hmm. the bottles or do you prefer the, <laughs> the cloud? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, the point is, man, I wish these guys could organize themselves and just like agree, bro. Now what's this? Oh, combine, bro. Because now some guys are just not going to go. Some guys are going to pick one and just go for that one. Yet if That's definitely spread, what most people are spread to themselves out a bit, <laughs> everyone would get. Everyone would go, man. For you know each one of them. Me? The month of August is probably going to be dry as yeah. hell. Then there'll be a They'll just have man. that like kiss Daniel thing. <laughs> Which is not even confirmed. And yeah, I think we'll have another show in this one. Wait yes, and see. Yes, yes, we'll wait see. and see. Wait and see. Wait and see. Someone needs to bring Vic to me though. Yes, I would. Mm. Yes, I would. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. I need to bring this guy. What's his name? That Mona Lisa guy. What's his name? Loje. Loje, bro. That guy had the biggest album last year. No one has even thought about him. Bro. <laughs> That's weird. That'd be hot. Mona Lisa. He's not even touring, is he? I haven't seen him anywhere. Unless he's coming up with something else crazy. But, bro, that Actually, album, he's toured anywhere. that album for, like, Banner Boy for, like, three years. But <laughs> is it the album or the song that blew? The album. The album, the album, the album was album. fire, but yeah. definitely the song. But that song was the, the lead single. The lead single went crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Anyways, you guys have to add off less, man. So much less, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I'm a there's an artist who wrote in one. What's his name? Ruga, bro. Ruga had like three songs. Yeah, the first time Rima came, bro. Ruga had mob songs. Relax. How many were they? Put some respect on Ruga's name. How many Ruga. songs did Ruga have when yeah. he came? Yeah, he had that like had a one project. That had popped. Okay, yeah. bro, there are four marks. Guys, no, two he, had, he, had, he less, had that bro. first project which had that pandemic. I think it was called Pandemic, the That's first one. Right. Then the second one was called Over. I think had like an album called Pandemic before the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was during the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> then the second one was called Over, like Relapse or something. Ah, uh, yeah, let me go to his profile. And what, what's see, the second yeah. one? The one which had now <laughs> yeah, Dio. Yeah, it's called like Pandemic 2 or something. Yeah, like, exactly. Something like that. Like, exactly. It's like a relapse of the, of the pandemic. Yeah, nah, nah, he needs nah, but he had, he had a bunch of songs. He sang like five popping songs. Abu Dhabi. How good guys okay, man? Bounce. I think about him sometimes. Yo. Think about what like happened? They violated my man. I hope he's okay. I've not okay. okay. spoken about that. It looks I good. Yeah. I've listened his new video and he's uh, uh, teasing his new song. Yeah, like a funny dance. The comedy dance is gay. <laughs> look what they made Ruga do, bro. <laughs> look what <laughs> like, Trauma did to Ruga, bro. <laughs> this guy is traumatized, bro. Uh, uh, what a silly dance, man. That dance is hilarious. Uh, okay, okay. Where are, we, where are we? What else do you guys want to talk about? Um, did you guys hear about... This is a bit dated, but did you see Metro Boomin's mom um, was yeah. killed? He doesn't know yeah. the details of that story. Was that yeah, she was shot, man. Gang related? She was shot by her husband. Oh, yeah, and he killed himself. Yeah, he, sh- he shot her, then shot himself. It's called a mother suicide. <laughs> that was a nasty one, bro. bro. That only was a nasty in America. Story, man. Only, uh, only in America, you guys, that shit like that happened. It was crazy. Uh, R.I.P. Yeah, man. Um, I also saw that, that uh, obviously, we spoke about Congo last week. But this week, I just saw another headline, bro. I have to be careful with how I report some of these headlines because they might not be 100% true. Oh, 100 percent accurate. Just add allegedly. Yeah, it helps all the time. Allegedly, apparently. I mean, our statement had alleged dancing. What was it? Alleged. Uh, yeah, yeah, alleged. <laughs> 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 ah, <laughs> alleged actions. <laughs> you listen. So um, yeah, apparently, apparently the 
there's like members of the Congolese army, mm. like, like a regiment or something. Because obviously they're fighting, they're fighting M23, like we said last week in Congo, that were pushed into UG, bro. Like they had to flee. When when was it? They, they were getting whooped. No, the military, bro. Oh, they had to. They just entered UG like a few like a few hours ago. The Congolese military. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Why? They had to flee into UG. They were getting clapped. So now by who? Congolese military. M23 guys, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, them two, three guys, I think, are controlling a particular reg- region, man, down there. So they had to just and allow these guys to go there to raid them and these area. guys next to the border. So did they uh, just cross thing. in anyhow? Like, was there some procedure? Because I don't know. Because crossing the border. What does fleeing look like, bro? I don't <laughs> fleeing looks like. Just the guys <laughs> running <laughs> <laughs> in uniforms out of the forest, bro. That's what I imagine. Like, there's a thick forest. But line, I don't know what that border guys. also looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. I'm not even 100% certain what border it was, but all I know is, is those are the. Reports coming from the in, west bro. right now. Yeah, that M23 guys west. push them into UG, bro. Western Uganda. Yeah. yeah. So. But usually, man, <laughs> historically, <laughs> not historically speaking, but in our past, when s- when stuff like that has happened, UG usually, I guess, caught these guys back, bro. And <laughs> just tell them that's your job. UG guys. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, no, no, not just caught them back and leaves them, bro. It's caught them back and now starts pushing those guys. In. Oh, mm. they don't them near the border also. No, they push them in because cause those are our allies. DRC guys are allies. I know, like, I guess you don't want military rebels winning was so close to your border, bro. Yeah, but, but I need to figure out that UGDR. Bro, our relationship with DRC is so, like, it's so complicated. Bro, I don't man. even know what that border looks like. such a like. tiny is country, like, yet is those there guys. Fence? Bro, we have such influence in that country. It's crazy. It's because, yeah. like, okay, this is what I've been, I've been led to understand. Like, Congo is huge, bro. Yeah. So, they w- need. The, the, the side that we border is Eastern Congo. Okay. Now, they. Kinshasa, At the on the side. west, li- like, like it's literally by the ocean. Yeah, yeah, it's like, like a, that kind of strip mm. that touches the ocean. That's where it is. Yeah. Mm. So in between Kinshasa and like this side is like a bunch of forests and war, bro. Mm. So the people in the east, their connection to the world is more of Uganda than Kinshasa. Mm. So they really, like we're the ones who supply yeah. them with exports and imports that go to that side and goods. Bro, speaking of exports, I saw uh, <coughs> I saw something saying that Uganda's biggest export in 2021 was gold. Bro, it's not close. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. When I tell you it's not close, it, the gap is brave. It's, it's in the second way entertainment, something like that. No, second is coffee. Coffee? Eh? Yeah. I know entertainment was up there. I mean, As an, no, it was an import, not an export. <laughs> import music. I don't remember <laughs> what it was, but it was somewhere. Else. <laughs> 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 uh, you it, think we uh, have my phone as for nothing? Because we bought Spotify, bro, and <laughs> Tido. <laughs> yeah. Okay, listen. Um, exports, bro. Gold, $3.7 bill. Dollars. Okay. Dollars. Coffee, 535, 539 million dollars. That's the gap. Bro. What's the third? The third is cocoa beans, 101 M. The fourth is raw sugar, 71M. Then tea, 69M. Bro, that is a gap. Where's all this gold coming from? Exactly. That's the thing. And now it ties back into our Congo relations, bro. They get it from Congo. It's spicy. It's a spicy (laughs) situation, bro. (laughs) It is spicy. And bro, let me tell you, it's so funny how like you end up going down a rabbit hole. Rabbit holes are funniest things. Uh, Like you start at one place and then Without even trying, you'll just get nudged to another direction. Right after seeing that stat, I saw this. Let me see if I can find it. This chick, let me not say anything, but I think she's a journalist. But she made, she did like, not a thread per se, but like, it was a, it's a tweet. She said, Feb, UN court fined Uganda $325 million for stealing Congo's natural resources. You guys remember that, right? Mm. The UN, like, I guess some court said that we had... Mm. They gave a ruling saying we owe Congo 325 m. That's Feb. March, the U.S. sanctions a Kampala gold refinery citing illegal Congo origin. First of all, where is a Kampala gold refinery, bro? Let me take gold. <laughs> gold in Kampala? Gold. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Apparently, it's a re- sanctioned. <laughs> gold. And it was sanctioned by a state because it was exporting like gold that they said was illegal. It had an illegal origin, kind of like that, that blood diamond jazz. 
I know I had capillary finalities, but bro, after reading this, and we are going to. It might be. I just want to ask you. Like, as what have, as what, as what, <laughs> as what have a word with it? <laughs> if they're hairy. April, that was March. April, UPDF said Operation Sugar took shit. Okay, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what that was about. I'm scared to say it. So I'm <laughs> <laughs> let's, skip, let's skip that one. But what I will say is that I remember sometime Uganda got out. Do you guys remember? the government getting uh, kind of like money to build roads in Congo. Mm, one yeah, yeah, big yeah, road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, longest road somewhere. Yeah, that's right. Road. Yeah. Yeah. And guys complained, what, something like 600 billion or something mm-hmm. to build like a road. I, that, also, that should be in this thread. I know it's not here. <laughs> <laughs> then this month, just like a day ago, you guys didn't see the government reporting that we have huge gold deposits that have been discovered. Google <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Google it. Bro. Where have they been discovered? Let's see. Gold deposits. In UG. Oh, I'm on airplane mode. You Google it. <laughs> I can't afford. Guys will call me. Let me, let me see here. Yeah, Let's but bro, just know it. Our, re- our relationship with Congo is very interesting to me, man. Because obviously, now I don't think that we're at a place where we're... I don't think we're looting it anymore. It, like, like they said that we did in those Amin days. But we definitely have a relationship with those guys where... There's right. some sort of Uganda exchange, is just bro. Here playing chess. And they just joined the East African community as well. Yeah, they did. And they just, did. You know, so. Bro. I don't know, bro. Have you seen? I have seen. Ah, uh, what do they say? This is Monitor. Mm-hmm. Uganda, let me, let me find the exact thing. Uganda has announced that it has struck a deposit of 31 million tons of gold ore. With extractable pure gold estimated to gross 320,000 tons, bro. Where? Where they're not putting it here. Yeah, because that's where we need to be. They be citing. That's just, where we need. They're to just be. citing six gold refineries. Eh, 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 eh. Bro, first of all, these guys have refused to post to it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. Expects to main. Okay, so I'm guessing it's in Busia. Mm, mm, else. On this other side I've, of I've, I've, I've I've in 2000s working in Karamoja and these guys are putting, they're putting where gold already is. Yeah, I'm not where this new one. It. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 that one is of national secret. Old, bro. Keep your ears to the ground <laughs> with this gold jazz. Abel came here and told you guys about gold, man. Digital gold. Mm. So. And that's some food for thought, man. Nah, but I know you can nah, have like a lot of middlemen for gold. Like that's a big thing. Like yeah, and there's a lot of guys who like get rich off gold. There's a lot of gold scams. Yes, but they had bro. If it's our biggest export, there's a lot of guys getting rich off gold. Legit True. gold. Five hundred. What? Gold. What did you say? Three point one billion. Three, three billion. Three point four billion. Bro, it sounds like a small number till you hear the next number is only like five hundred million. Yeah, and yeah, that's, that's coffee, bro. Three point four billion dollars is about quick math. 300,000 million shit. I don't know, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, bro. It's like It's like nine trillion. It's like trillions of money. Yeah. 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 The dollar what? The dollar is like at three eight. So it's maybe closer to like it's 10, probably like 10, 10 point trillion. something trillion. That's in one year. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Do we have gold reserves in like as a com- as a country? I'm sure we what do. do. We know? But they've just told you they you discovered. See, they, they no, I'm not saying the gold reserves in the ground. I'm saying like the ones in the bank. Hopefully. Ah, you get it. Hopefully, bro. Three, three billion. They should. They, they should. should be there. No, they should. They should. This, they this should. stuff might have all been exported, bro. There's no way. Uh, you go and they sell should. on markets. You know they sell on those metal markets. In bro, Denmark I can't imagine. Where. That's actually any. Bro, listen. Bro, but you know how these world systems are set up, bro. You can mine the gold here as much as you want, but to find a buyer. But you I think, okay, who's, ex- who's exporting it? Now that I don't know who. And uh, you know, in, in in Uganda, it's the government that's allowed to exploit. Huh. You can exploit minerals. You're just not allowed to own. You're not allowed to own the land where minerals are discovered. It automatically belongs to the government. The government. I don't know. That is African yeah. countries are like that's that. That's in our constitution, bro. I think it's Central Africa Republic where. Even Congo. Centra- Central you can Africa. Own it. I think it's Central. Even say you can own it. Central Africa Republic, you cannot own, and this is for uh, one of those things that remained after colonialism, but you, when you buy a piece of land, you only own, I think, up to six feet. Yeah, it's, it's, it's wow. the surface, something like that. Yeah, enough to bury you and your kin. Because like, uh. if you find the things even on your land, but it's not just Africa. 
Uh, here in UG, even you. like in the states, some states, when something is like in your backyard and it's below a certain depth, they can come and collect it, bro. You know, but this 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 one, you do not own. You only own up to six feet. That's like the on the point title. also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything six below feet. six from seven onwards, seven feet onwards, belongs to the French government. Now in UG, you own everything mm-hmm. above. And below, yeah. except if they have if minerals. it's minerals, bro. That one's a yeah, <laughs> those belong to the government. It's valuable, nothing belongs to the government. It's not for you, but you may not own like the can't really own water. But like, if there's a water like reservoir, an aqua, yeah, then that's yours. But it's you late. can own property water. rights, property laws. Only it how it's moving. It's a knife you find a lake or something moving through your land. Yeah, you, own, you own it. it, you own that cup, you own your land, you own that cup part that's moving through you, but the water for you to keep moving. Which country was it that wanted to block the Nile? Was, was that Egypt. Egypt. Was okay. Egypt. Was it Ethiopia? E- Ethiopia. Was Egypt can't block the Nile, that's suicide. <laughs> <laughs> they, they wanted they to. Finish I, think it, I think they wanted to. <laughs> it, was, it was either Ethiopia or Sudan, something like that. Ethiopia that's wanted Sudan. to build that big dam. On one of the main tributaries of the Nile, yes, uh, and yeah. they were and they were worried. The Egyptians were worried that it might reduce the amount of water flowing to Egypt, and because for them they really rely, they they rely on the Nile, they live off it. And when the British left colonialism, they left Egypt in charge of the Nile. They left. The way they left in, like, I hate those guys, bro, man. Like, you know, those guys <laughs> make me <laughs> mad. <laughs> That's not the, the they charge of governing fire. the Nile. They are suits of fire. They are fire suits, bro. Yeah, man. So Egypt, Egypt, every, anything to do with <laughs> the Nile is Egypt's fire. territory. Uh, so really uh, have you seen what it looks like? What does it bro, look you like? Bro, you think it's just like a Kariva passing through like some dry... Bro, it's an actual built city, bro. Egypt. Mm. Bro, it's huge, bro. It's so big. It's huge. Like I saw I saw some guy on YouTube going to Egypt recently and exactly this is the same reaction I had, bro. There were so many houses and like that that the city just looks like a cup. It's like a mini Dubai. Bro. Something like but where all the buildings are shorter. They're yeah. not as high, but they are more but bro. And they're all color brown. It's it's crazy. Yeah, I wanna see Egypt. I want to go to Egypt. I, to see I, also, I also want to go to Egypt. I have okay. to touch that place. New segment, new segment, new segment. New segment. New segment. <laughs> Which one should we start with yours or mine? Let's start with yours. All right, let's start with mine. My segment is called Only in America. Because I'm tired of talking about the Americans on this <laughs> podcast, bro. <laughs> Every time we talk about them, it's something dumb that they're doing, bro. So this segment is dedicated to just dumb shit that's happening in America. It would never happen anywhere else. So this week, let me see if I have this article still up. I need to stop closing things, bro. I have a thing where I just keep closing things. Hopefully, I'll remember this off head. So, I saw this story, man, about a woman in America who won a lawsuit against Geico. You guys know Geico? The insurance company. The insurance company. She won a lawsuit against Geico for five point, how much? Five million dollars, basically. You know why? Why? Because her... And this guy she was seeing, eh, had sex in his car, eh, and she caught HPV. What? And that guy's car <laughs> was insured by Geico. <laughs> was insured by Geico. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> hey, do you know that makes zero? <laughs> I wish we could have, an, well, I wish you could have an insurance lawyer. What insurance claim was that? Like, <laughs> what did she claim? She's claiming. <laughs> that <party. laughs> yeah, that Literally, party. she's claiming that <laughs> because the act that caused her to get that disease happened in the in his car, mm. and he didn't tell her she was he was sick. Eh? Somehow, his insurance company is liable for that because they insured his car. Why it happened? Bro, it is crazy. I feel like that's going to open a like a floodgate of like people Dumb suing claims. Him. What is it called retroactively? Can is that possible? Can, uh, it's very possible. It's very, it's a very, very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah because guys can come, come back, back and say yes. Yeah, they can come and be exactly. like, actually, also caught this and this other guy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Also insured by Geico. Because yeah. I'm sure those guys are sure. Hey, it could be a move. Of, of course, it's Geico guy. I move forward. You're like man. My car is insured by Geico. Now what you do? Come. 
We go to the car. Anything that happens That's is an issue. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we shall split. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but obviously Geico has appealed, bro, because that's just They silly. have to, bro. That's <laughs> wild. <laughs> like, no, there's no insurance company that's trying to cover that. <laughs> Like but if you think about <laughs> it, it's just that question. Yeah, I wish I could have an insurance lawyer <laughs> <laughs> just come on here and explain to me how, how that could possibly happen. But me, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, man, let them pay, bro, because <laughs> these guys have... It's an insurance company. I'm sure they've gotten out of so many claims that they should have paid. Should have paid and, and they, they, yeah. they weasel their way one. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let them pay this time. They've grabbed them dead to rights. Bro, let them pay. a wild claim. <laughs> bro, <laughs> only in America <laughs> can you win a case like that. That's so silly, bro. <laughs> what no. does bro? What does Cossacks what? have to do with my insurance? But to be fair, I'm sure there's a loop. Okay, well, but this is my other thing. Yeah, this is yeah. my other thing. Wait, when you're vibing, I think you tell her who who is your joker. My car oh, is she insured by UAP. Oh, but she has she has the vision, bro. She saw a guy's windscreen and saw like a guy co <laughs> like a guy co cast. Said ah. She peeped there before entering. So like, okay. no, but wait, when you're signing for these insurance things. What do you sign for? Exactly, like that's comprehensive. Cover that. <laughs> do they mean comprehensive <laughs> when they say comprehensive? <laughs> because well, I know comprehensive is it protects someone that's over passenger. Is it? No, no, not passenger. See, I, guess, I guess if it's like if it's, it's like sticky, bro. If, if it's like the the car is insured to protect anyone from getting injured in <laughs> the car. Anyone, if you get an injury in the car. Something like <laughs> something yeah. like maybe those lawyers maybe have set up like that. Bread. I'm not even impressed by the chick. <laughs> it's the lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, but shout out the chick. Let her get our money. Uh, listen to this. The sexual encounters took place in late 2017. Because the car was covered by Geico at the time, the lady, I guess, or the judge says that the company is obligated to compensate her for contracting HPV <laughs> from its owner in the vehicle, citing medical expenses and her pain and suffering. God damn. Like Jesus. Only bro. in America. Can something like that happen here? Never, bro. Oh <laughs> my God, they'll <laughs> laugh you out of the room. The insurance company, even when the court has ruled, that court, that court, court would last you out your room. <laughs> it would be the court that laughs you out. <laughs> it would be the court that laughs you out. <laughs> <laughs> they have that time, boss. What do you mean? Hey, you brought your case. And they're supposed to give it to like fair and nanny. <laughs> yeah, literally, you've contracted that a disease. In a car from the owner of the car. Yeah. I'm sure. Okay, I'm someone sure is liable. That <laughs> 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 so <laughs> In her eyes, in her mind, I someone. Know, it's so remote. To, <laughs> it's so remote to attach her to Geico because Geico. Exactly. I'm sure they Geico, found that loophole. Anyway, let me tell you, this guy's insurance it must be crazy, bro. He must be paying <laughs> a ridiculous amount in, in insurance, bro. <laughs> to be the if it's that comprehensive. It must be comprehensive, <laughs> comprehensive. No bro. one can. Anything happens in this car, bro, are covered by guys. That guy is that guy's <laughs> insurance. One or outside bro, in, that car. Insurance is like <laughs> compositions. <laughs> what do you used to do in English? Composition, comprehension, yeah. bro. It's everything. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. Look at this guy. Uh, uh. <laughs> That's my only in America for, for today, bro. For this week. Ah, uh, what else is there? Uh, no, I don't have a name. Oh, your anything. segment now. Ah, uh, <laughs> my segment. I don't have a name for it. What have we decided to call it? I don't know. Uh, we'll come up with one. We'll come uh, up with one. Grains my gear. It's not really grains. Yeah, yeah. 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 grains. Grains, grains my, my gears. <laughs> 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 Basically, the point is for each of us, <coughs> if you have, uh, to mention something that grinds your gears, something that uh, nags ground your gears this gears. week. <laughs> Jesse, yeah. do you understand what grinds your gears? Because you, you seem a bit too passionate about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that deep. But one thing that really, it, 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 it grinds my gears, yeah. is when I'm on Snapchat and I'm scrolling through stories and... Usually, it's a lady that has done this, committed this offense. But she has used a filter. But by the time she started recording, the filter hadn't yet <laughs> started working. <laughs> so, as she records, you can now kind of see her face tighten up. Yo, that's so petty. That thing. That's, that's, <laughs> a, that's such a petty, that's a petty grievance. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. 
have bro. never seen this happen. That's such a specific <laughs> grievance to have. Yeah. yeah, that's one thing that really grinds my gears, bro. I don't even know why, but every time I see it, my... It happens my, often. My, my, I've never noticed, bro. Through. I've absolutely I have never, never noticed, noticed, noticed bro. Never. I can't believe you guys. <laughs> Where'd you be looking? That's snap? hilarious. What? Yeah. And then like the worst, worst, worst one is when <laughs> the filter just refuses to come to, on to grab the bitch face. It like keeps going on and off like this, on and off like this. <laughs> so like <laughs> she she can like <laughs> I guess I'm just talking. Maybe just as like I'm being. Petty, nah, but that's funny. There's times you can see like her face shivering. Okay, let me tell you. Do you know what kills me about how this guy got this thing? Uh. He was just sitting there. <laughs> and he was like, ah, I found my naggy thing. <laughs> 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 I remembered. Uh, this thing actually nags me. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, well, that's uh, mine. What's okay. yours? Uh, <laughs> uh, boys, give me yours. May I have one today, bro? <laughs> I, I can't remember. Simple, let me tell you, you guy. Have you guys been to public toilets or like toilets in places? Yeah. yeah. And when you're entering, you can push. Mm. But when you're getting out, you have to pull. Yeah, it's so silly, bro. <laughs> like, Wait, bro, what's that to about? Me. Because that man, and this is the thing, how I noticed it is this time we were t- this place we usually go to on Friday. <coughs> Look. Mm. Mm. So I'm entering, I use my foot, yeah? I game what? Uh, uh, uh. But now there's this other guy next to me. So may I go wash my hands? Like, I've, g- I've gum. And this guy just walked out. He didn't wash his hands. Nothing. Touched the hand up. Went. <laughs> and then I was the next guy. Yeah. I ran. I tried <laughs> to <laughs> reach. <laughs> yeah. I tried to reach before the door closed. Yeah. I failed you guys. I just looked at the handle. I was like, damn. That is too funny. <laughs> That's too funny. And there's no way around it. You can't choose your Yeah, but you know me, I like you know, I like the open from that top No, I like the what you I like the the bathrooms where they have tissues. Where they use tissue to wipe your hand. I always use the tissue to open that door. But then where do you throw it after? In the bin. It's in the bin near the sink inside. Hey. It's usually, it's like down. <laughs> <laughs> also remember there was also a time where there would be like guys like cleaning. Mm. Those guys usually open that door for you. Mm. If you're lucky. Yeah. Then you, you have to tip, tip them. If you tip them, they open that door for you. Yeah, true. And hey, you tip those guys. Yeah, <laughs> man. Those guys be wanting tips, bro. Those guys, bro, bro might just be thinking they're nice, bro. No, this so one fasty, guy who bro. even removed the tissues for me after I washed my hands. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. And you just said thank you and wait. Of course, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I gave him the to me not to say thanks. That's a thirst. Let me go without saying things. I said thank you, sir. Thank you so much, man. Like, we're good at this. I did. Yeah. Oh, they be wanting, no, they be so wanting a tip. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess now I know. Next time I'll give you like a coin or something. Yeah. Ah, no, bro, bro. Me, I have to think about what nags me. I had one last week, but I forgot it completely. You guy, it will come back to me. You give it to us. Something, something will nag me. <laughs> now I won't be attentive to what nags me this week. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. All right, boys. What else do you have? That boys do. Ah, what up? Finals. Finals. I'm Finals. still on 4 2, bro. It's 3 2 today. Yeah, for those looking watching, like it's a 4 3 2 today. It's looking like a 4 2. I'll say this. Last week on the pod, I said 4 1. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's, let's say 4 1. I said 5 1. You said 4 1. I said 5 1 is impossible. I said 2. I said 4 1. You said 4 3. 4 3. You said 4 3. Not 3 That four. could still happen. You said 3 4. I said that three, four. technically means you were supporting the Celtics, which could still yeah, happen. Yeah, it could still happen. 4 3 could still happen. I said, what I said 4 1. The other guys are warriors. I said 4 1. But on Twitter, before that, I said 4 2. <laughs> <laughs> so now I won't say 4 2. Uh, we want our receipts. Nah, <laughs> I won't say 4 2. I'll show you my tweet. Uh, I said 4 2. Um, yeah, it's looking like a 4 2 to me. It's looking like a 4 2. Also. But my lord, these Boston Celtics are good. Hey. They are, but they also have one main weakness, bro. What's that? Turnovers. Yeah, they have a lot of turnovers, turnovers. but bro, those guys can come back. They can just go on. Last night they went like a 10 0 10 0 run, bro. Yeah. But then do you know what's so discouraging? Eh? Is they did that the entire quarter and then lost the next one. No. Yeah. And they still got one point behind in that quarter. Really? Because Poole just pulled up from like half court. Bah! And Listen, the thing man. ended with them still behind. I think that's when they got They were like, boss, what's this? Nah, the Warriors are not losing this next game, bro. Bro, they have to. But this Jesse guy is not like, okay. Mm, nah, <laughs> <laughs> okay I just wanted to say that. <laughs> yeah, Dream on Green has a <laughs> podcast. Yeah, yeah, and it's always fire. I listen to it oh, so seems, much. Bro. How many episodes does he have? Quite a number. Uh, but let me tell you, it's the most controversial basketball podcast. Apparently, guys are it. trying to say that because he... Sorry, much is about to end. 
Apparently, you guys are trying to say that because he has a podcast, he's not like a hundred percent focused <laughs> on that game. That has to be cut. I don't know, bro. Because last last night's game, he was cool. Okay, I admit the first nice. the first four he was easy. Yeah, he was easy. But last night's game, he was cool. He was on his shit. Mm. Still, yeah, okay. he, has a, he has had his podcast for a while. Oh, see, no, I'm gonna listen. I want to listen to that podcast. Listen to it. It's, it's mm. like 30, it's like 30 like minutes an episode or something. Yeah, it's qu- it's quite it's doing. Uh, guys really really rate it, bro. And guys really rate him as like a speaker. He is. He is. Those yeah. are the guys who you can look at and say after their career is done, yeah, they'll, they'll probably be okay. become like a anchor, yeah. sports anchor, like Shark, one of those bad boys. Mm. <coughs> We've bought you, so cartoon, a aye, bit aye, small, aye, small aye. boy. <laughs> That's that, bro. Like, like Draymond. Bro, I wanted to say actually at the beginning <laughs> of this pod, I don't know what's happening, but for some reason, at the on podcast days, mm. uh, which we can say what day it is, uh, on podcast days, days. <laughs> on the days that we're recording recently, <laughs> ever since we started doing just one episode a week, they've been my busiest days, bro. Literally yesterday, I did almost nothing. In terms of work at the office, everything was so slow. Shit was light. I barely did anything, bro. I went home so early. But today, bro, from the moment I woke up, I've been working, you guys, until I entered the studio. It didn't make any sense, bro. After this, I'm going to be tired. <laughs> I'm just going to enter my bed, bro. Bro, after every episode, there's always your body just shuts. But it's not helping that. I, be, I have a long day before this. Mm. Anyways, whatever. We'll figure it out. Um, is there anything <coughs> you guys want to say? Anything you want to add? No, nah, we're good. We're good. Bro, we need to start doing that music segment again. I enjoyed that. But I think we're going to have, have, we're going to have cut out the YouTube guys. Copyright claims. They don't claim. They can't claim it on, on iTunes and Spotify, can they? If, we if like it's part song. of the podcast. Because they didn't claim it on any of the other episodes. Did you notice? Mm. On the audio, I think we can get away with it. But the video. Mm, so YouTube, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Makes YouTube sense. guys. We're letting you know now. You're never going to listen to any music on this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> but the, the audio yeah, guys bro. will blast. Because, bro, I thought that because we were playing Ugandan music, that it would be it would be easier to like get stuff clear. Da da da. Bro, so many of these guys have international like distributors and labels that even them they can't help you clear it, bro. Mm. So, man, it's not worth it. But. Keep listening, man. For the guys who listen, you'll hear the songs. And I feel like now we shouldn't even just limit ourselves to Ugandan only music. We can just play whatever we want to play. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Thanks so much for listening. Do you want to. And our Patreon users us? are going to blast. Our Patreon guys are going to have a blast. For them, we'll sing for them. <laughs> yeah, we'll sing their songs. We shall even have a DJ. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, new jams. <laughs> yeah, guys, there's a Patreon on the way. We just need to figure out how to make it make sense, I think, for both us and you. Um, yeah, man. And on that note, I think we can end it. Mm. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe. Uh, what do you guys do on the other platforms? Rate. Follow. Follow, rate. Rate. A, where do they rate? You? Spotify, Apple, Apple Podcasts. Yeah, how do we become the number one podcast on Apple Podcasts? What do you guys have to do? Man, Leave a review and a rating. Yeah. We've been there, but what? Like... Leave a review and a rating. Hey, leave a review and a rating, man, on Apple Podcasts. Mm. Do you guys comment on Apple Podcasts and the other podcasts? That's the review. That's We've never seen them. But thanks for watching and peace. peace. peace.